Welcome to the short introduction to the automatic B. Brown wall dispenser. It is important to know that the automatic dispenser is only made for collapsible bottles. This means no other bottle will fit into the wall dispenser. The automatic dispenser is made for our hand hygiene range, which consists of hand disinfection, hand wash, and hand care products. The automatic dispenser was designed to provide a clear indication of what product is being dispensed, how much product is left in the collapsible bottle, and when the bottle was opened. Our bottles have an additional sticker attached on the label where you can record when the bottle was opened. Once the opening date is recorded on the label, peel it off the bottle and stick it onto the wall dispenser in a visible position. To open the cover, turn the key clockwise until you hear a click. The cover of the dispenser will come slightly toward you and can be opened. After you pull the cover upward, it will remain open on its own and the dispenser will automatically be out of operation. To close the dispenser, simply press the cover down gently and turn the key counterclockwise until you hear a click. The bottle needs to be inserted upside down and with the back label in front. Please be aware that the construction of the wall dispenser is especially made to place the pump of the bottle exactly into the insert. After removing the protective cap, you will see the specialized nozzle, which has two ridges that are designed to hold the bottle securely in the dispenser. Ensure the back label is facing toward you and the nozzle and the bottle fit snugly in the dispenser. When used for the first time, the dispenser will automatically perform a ventilation lift to release the air from the pump. From the next use, the set dosing amount is dispensed. On both sides of the automatic dispenser, you will see the bottle change indicator. This bottle change indicator works only when the bottle is inserted correctly, as explained in the previous step. If the indicator is green, there is still enough liquid in the bottle. If it turns partially orange, the filling level is decreasing. An orange filling level shows you the bottle is empty and you need to replace it. The product dial shows the product that is inside the wall dispenser. To locate the adjustable rotary disc indicator, open the dispenser cover as explained in step one. Locate the rotary disc on the inside of the cover. Lift the wheel slightly and turn it clockwise to display the required product. To change the batteries, simply remove the battery case by gently pressing the black tabs on either side, left and right, inward and toward you at the same time. Reinsert the refilled case. The standard configuration of the dosing amount is 1.5 milliliters per dose. If you need to adjust the dosing amount, you can change it to 0.6 milliliters, 3 milliliters, or 3 milliliters two times. There are four different dosing functions. When you press the small button underneath the dispenser, while the dispenser cover is open, the LED indicator signals appear. One flash is 0.6 milliliters. Two flashes are 1.5 milliliters. Three flashes are three milliliters. And four flashes are three milliliters two times. To attach the wall dispenser to the back plate, the two knobs must be snapped into the slots on the lower side of the back plate. Push the wall dispenser up and against the wall. The last step is to move the dispenser down. Make sure you hear a click so you know it was done correctly. To remove the wall dispenser, open the cover and remove the bottle with a twist. Press the tab in the area below the battery case and at the same time, push the dispenser upward. To prevent liquid from dropping onto the floor, you can attach the optional drip tray. To remove the drip tray, press the white easy click in knobs and pull the drip tray down. In order to clean the area underneath the dispenser, there is a cleaning function, which stops the product dosing for 30 seconds. With the cover closed, press the operating button underneath the dispenser once. The dispenser is then inactivated for 30 seconds to allow you to clean the device and the area underneath the dispenser. For 25 seconds, a yellow light is constantly on, and in the last 5 seconds, the yellow light will flash to give you an indication of the time. The system is automatically ready to operate again afterward.